Say what you like. They do it well. There might be a lot wrong with the airline business. Overcrowding, long and unexpected delays. But most of their passengers are very happy with the service, or at least tolerant of its shortcomings. Why? If railway passengers were subjected to half these delays and frustrations, there would be riots. I'll tell you why. It's how they treat people, how they handle them, make them feel important, which is customers that they are. At the end of the day, their business is providing transport to a destination, just the same as the railway. But the way they do it makes all the difference. A friendly, outgoing and polite attitude, backed up by a belief in what you're doing, that's what counts. On the bottom line, it's what makes the world tick. It's just amazing how many people you meet who've got no idea how to deal with people. Just popping in here to get one of those spotlights for the boys' bedroom. all supplied. That would make things too easy. Just the bloke to get me out of trouble. Where can I find a bulb for this spotlight? It tells you the type on here, but I can't see them anywhere. Now, if I know anything about these places, this is where it starts to get tricky. Uh, listen, mate, I've already looked all along here. Look, if you go to the information desk, just by the checkout, they should be able to help you. Okay, thanks. My job to serve people. I just keep the shelves filled and price the stuff up. Anyway, you can't expect someone to know all the different bits and pieces that are in here. Yes? Yes. Hello. Look, I want to buy this spotlight for the boys' bedroom, but I can't find the right bulb for it. Well, the spotlight 
isn't much good about the bulb, is it? I suppose not. Okay. Well, what do you make of that? Just going up to London on the 932 to buy a spotlight with a bulb in it. What else? Single fan church, please. Cheers. Okay. All's in travel card, please. 6.20, please. Thank you. You let that train go before time. It's only 9.31 now. That's not going to do you, mate. That's down in the garden. Well, he didn't do himself any justice. Blaming the old guard. It's a good job the customer was a reasonable sort of bloke. Not that they all are. Watch this. Tickets, please, sir. I'm sorry, sir, this ticket's not valid on this train. You should have waited for the 9.45. Didn't you leave the booking office? What do you mean it's not valid? I asked for a return ticket of Fenchurch Street, and that's what they gave me. It's got today's date on it, hasn't it? Oh, yes, but you see, it's only valid on services after the morning peak. Either you'll have to get off a parking and wait for the next train, or I'll have to charge you the excess on the full single fare. Oh, I'm damned if I'll pay any excess. They long get off the bloody train. There's my ticket. If you don't like it, it's too bloody bad. It's bad time the railways learn how to run a proper business. The trains are filthy, disgusting, and the staff are rude and ignorant. You see what I mean? Now, how do I play it with a bloke like this? He's already upset me. So, I'm going to get awkward with him. This is bloody childish. Yes, and it's just making us all late for work. Leave the guy alone and let's get away. What are you? Tell the guy to mind his own business and let's get this train moving. That's what he's paid for, isn't it? What the hell do I do now? Like I said, knowing how to deal with people can be a difficult business. How you handle people can make all the difference, not only in keeping them happy, but in getting things done properly too. Come in here and watch this.
Penalty box. Hello, right, mate. What's your bloody going? You put this peg back in front of me. Uh, what signal are you speaking from, driver? PJ5. 2D43. Look, never mind all these bloody questions. I don't know what you've done. You put the peg back in front of me. Listen, mate. Don't start shouting at me. I didn't put back. I'm only trying to find out what happened. But it don't matter now. It's off anyway. These are just a few experiences. We've all had them. Sometimes we're the injured party. And sometimes, if we're honest, we've been in the wrong. Just knowing how to deal with people, how to react, it would have saved the situation. Think about it. Put yourself in the other bloke's shoes for a minute. You catch more flies with sugar than vinegar. <laughs>